Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for a brand new episode on the Unorthoblox server. We are once again going to be working on our castle over here, and more specifically, we are going to be working on this tower. So that should complete some of the front skyline of the castle, if we have that tower coming up to all the way up there. It should look really cool. It's going to be the tallest part of the castle, uh, at least the tallest part of the front part of the castle. It's going to go slightly higher than these buildings over here uh, than these towers and it's gonna look super super cool and before I get into building this castle I've got a few things to say so as I'm building up this tower here I wanted to say that some statistics on my channel have alerted me to the fact that 75% of you are not subscribed to my channel I what's that about just subscribe, just do it. And also, I've started a brand new series on the 1.12.2 pack, which is a modded uh, Minecraft experience where we are building and playing with modded blocks, machinery, all that sort of thing. And it's a bit less building focused than this series and more uh, just messing around with mods, which is really cool and I highly recommend you check that out so that is all I've got to say to you guys uh, for now just remember to subscribe and hopefully we should get some new subscribers I'm thinking that's a pretty good height for the main bulk of the tower as you can see I've added in windows uh, every so often I don't know whether that's gonna be all right I'm tempted to go back to these little windows and do uh, a couple strips of them just having double little windows all the way up but we will see how that looks when we've got the top on and everything finished and then we can go back and add in the little windows if we prefer them but yeah it's just coming up i think to the brim of the roof on these towers which means when we add in the actual top section it'll look a lot taller so it'll be up somewhere around here with the roof on which looks really cool and it may look a little goofy now with nothing behind it but bear in mind, there's a lot of structure to go behind this front wall. So there's this build here, there's this building here, and this building here. I'm actually thinking about extending a little bit that way. Bringing all the way up and having this tower come up relatively high. It should look decent. Then of course we've got this build back here, which is going to be uh, quite grand. That's going to come up to like about here. and have builds up there. It's going to look a lot more filled in. Because at the minute it just looks a bit flat. Once we get the area behind it, it should look pretty cool. But I'm going to whack the top section on. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking that this tower is going to need the smaller windows all the way up the stalk and the bigger one up the top. Because, yeah, it's just not looking great with those um, with the normal windows in there, is it? So we're going to have to basically tear it down. Well, tear the middle sections down and redo it with stairs. So let's do that. I think that that is a million times better to what we had before. Yeah, that works so much better with the two uh, small window slits. It just makes it seem a lot bigger, you know? The stair blocks really make the smaller windows make the tower just seem a lot cuter and a lot more grander. And it fits in a lot better with these windows and those ones there as well. Yeah, I'm liking that. And then we've got a three block window on top, but it is time to add a cone roof. I'm thinking that's looking really good. I'm really happy with this tower, actually. I think it is perfect for what is needed. Definitely for this build. Yeah, look at that. That looks so good. Oh, as, as the tallest tower for this build, I think that looks so nice. And when we get, obviously, some of the back bits built up, Yes, that skyline for the castle is looking super good. So what needs to be done with this tower now, as with... Uh, my mouse has stopped working. There we go. So what needs to be done with this tower now, as I've done with uh, this tower here, is add in all of the uh, andesite and some glass up the top. And then I think this tower is pretty much there, pretty much finished, which is pretty good for this far into the episode. I thought this tower would take the entire episode. But it then just leaves space for something else to do in the episode. So that's pretty nice. But I'm going to andesite this tower up. And hopefully it'll look super cool. And I believe that is the tower complete. It's all lit up. We've got the glass in. And yeah, it's looking super cool. I'm very happy with this. Yeah, 
it fits so well. It's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. It's my vision. And perfectly, it's becoming nighttime as well, so we can see it all lit up with the rest of the castle. That's perfect. Look at that. It all lit up nicely. Looking brilliant. I'm very happy. Very happy with how this tower looks. This castle skyline is just becoming cooler and cooler each day. I'm loving this project. Just look at that. That is that is super nice. Is this a bug? Why are there so many Pikmin? They're everywhere. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six Pikmin just through this portal in the shopping district. Has someone put these here or are they just... They just keep coming through the portal. There are so many. So I've been alerted to the fact that Forge has been over to my spawn area and actually done the armor stand thing that I said in a couple episodes ago. So for the rest of this episode, we are going to go check that out. And I really hope it's pretty cool. I, I hope I can afford the payment as well. So I said it would be a diamond per armor stand. So let's hope he hasn't gone absolutely overboard, but let's have a look. It should be right around here. I haven't seen this yet. So hopefully it's pretty cool. Just around the corner here. And... <laughs> <laughs> There's already guards stopping the entrance to this guy. What's going on? Oh, it's a... Oh, it's a sword hung up on a... That's pretty cool. So that counts as an armor stand. What? This is incredible. Oh my goodness, yes. Is that... No, no. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so we've got a farmer here tending to the pigs. Oh, of course the bell's got to go off. So we got got a Toby here waving at a quirky who's just come out of come out of here. We've got uh, a Remington Remington guards. So I guess Remington is the guards. Uh, do we have anything? Anyone in the town hall? Uh, no one in the map room. We do as well. We have uh, a forge here, and then I guess I guess Nano's the mayor. Oh oh god. Okay. Na Nano is the mayor. What oh, a scaffolding here. I wonder why that is. But yeah, so Nano, Nano, I guess, is the mayor of our town, which is pretty, pretty funny and definitely not true. I am the mayor. Um, let's jump back out here. Uh, keep going. So we've got, of course, our horse. We've got a little baby villager running about with a wandering trader sat by the river. Is there anyone up here? We're we surprised if he went all the way up to the guard tower. Pretty cool if you did though. Oh yeah, no, I see. Oh yeah, we do. We've got another Remington guard up here, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, this is this is amazing. This makes this place feel so lived in. Uh, what? Do, oh, <laughs> jump scared by a villager. We have got uh, some more of the guards. Another Remington here demanding a drink. Uh, got three of them in here. Is there anyone upstairs in the rooms? Didn't want to open that. Got to be careful to not take anything off of all these guys. Uh, anyone in the rooms? No one in the tiny room. I'm guessing no one in the cupboard. Anyone in this room? No. What about the big room with the big window? Uh, yeah, we got a loon up here. Hey, loon. <laughs> oh, Forge, you've done an incredible job. And uh, no one out. We've already been out there. But yeah, Forge, well done. This is amazing. Oh, this is incredible. This is so good. So we've got a fisherman here. We've got another villager. Is there anyone in this house? At the blacksmith house? Uh, yeah, oh my gosh. There's another couple armor stands down here. We've got a blacksmith working on a pickaxe. I guess that counts as two armor stands, doesn't it? God, I need to count all these up afterwards. I'm not counting them right now. But... I'm just having a look. We got another wandering trader. We've got another fisherman. What's going on here? We got a guy alarmed. We've got another alarmed. Oh my! Oh, that's because there's a child climbing on the water wheel. Oh lord! Oh, that's so good. 
Uh, we've got um, a farmer lying down by the hay. We've got a guy with an emerald. What else is going on? Nothing. Oh, that's, that's nothing down there. We've got a got another wandering trader walking past. We've got a villager there. No one in here by the looks of it. <laughs> got a guy coming out the toilet to his kid. That's funny. We got a we got a loon. It looks like a very drunken loon, <laughs> just sort of slouched up against a wall. Uh, anyone in here? No, no one in this house. So, oh, this is amazing. I'm so happy. This is so good. We got a uh, pillager down here. Oh, this is so good. We got. Oh, we got mighty high buying some pork. No, it's that some beef actually, so it's be the beef rum. <laughs> nice one, Mighty High. Oh, and then we saw all this stuff before, but wow, Forge, you have outdone yourself here. This is amazing. This is so good. Oh, and we've got one up in the tower up here. We've got a Mighty High up in the bell tower. Is anyone up in the guard towers? I'm guessing not. No. But what? Forge, well done. Thank you so much. This is so good. This is really, really good. Oh, thank you so much. Right. I'm going to count all these up and we'll go and deliver his payment. Okay, so the final count I counted was 36. But I don't know if I miscounted because I had to count three or four times. So we're just going to give 42 because it's the meaning of life. And I did ask... Uh, just for the armor stands and he provided all the clothing, all of the heads and stuff and all the... Uh, it, it just went so well. So you're getting a tip, you're getting 42 diamonds forge. Uh, we're going to dump them over here in the place. And this place is looking really nice. Just this whole area of town, it's looking super cool. But yeah, let's jump over to the post office, which I believe is one of these big buildings up here. Have these changed recently? Am I... Is that wall new? I don't know. But I believe this is the post office. Yes, it is. Forge 1. 42. There we go. 42 diamonds. Do we have any mail? Oh, we've got mail. Oh, my lord. Um. Now, I know who this is from. This is from Forge. Because Forge has an iron farm. And basically just wants to undercut Mighty High's iron shop. Because Mighty High's undercut Forge's rocket shop. And all and loads of shops actually Forge has done. So, yeah. Well, Forge fully has negated any need of iron I would ever have. But look at this place. This town is coming along super well. I love this server, man. And I'm going to address something here right at the end of the episode. Which I, I wasn't going to address. But... I thought it's probably important. So my videos usually get about sort of 10 to 20 views in the first couple days. And then usually in their lifespan, they'll get maybe 30 to 40, 50 if I'm lucky. And now the last episode of Unorthor Blocks has been up for a few days now. And I didn't stick to my schedule I was doing because uh, of some life things and that. But... It didn't, it hasn't got the attention, you know, I thought it would. It's got six views in about five days, which I'm going to take one of these back to the castle, but which, you know, is interesting to say the least. I, I don't know why, um, but it actually happened with the last two videos I uploaded because they're, my modded series also had the same fate. It, uh, it didn't really perform as well as I thought it may sh maybe should have and I don't know why maybe YouTube algorithm just didn't promote that video or anything but it just seemed odd so I'm asking if you guys could go and show my last two videos a bit of love um, just because I'm really proud of the last one slot box video and I built something really cool and yeah, I built the underground dock harbour area underneath the castle in the cellars. And I thought it went really well. I thought um, it was a pretty cool project to do. I'll fly down there now, give you a look. I thought this was a really, really cool project to make a video on. But I guess no one really wanted to see it. 
I don't know. I was super happy with how this place turned out. So I ask that you go give that a watch. But, it, but in the opposite end of the spectrum, I'm going to have to thank you guys so much. Because the support recently as well has been incredible on other videos. And subscribers wise as well. I've gained like 25 subscribers in the last month. Which is unheard of for my channel. That is ridiculous. So if we keep that up, that's incredible. But yeah, I just thought I should bring those two things up. Uh, one little, one little thing where I'm like, oh, oh well, don't really mind, but it's kind of annoying. And then one thing where I'm like, yes, cool, stu like that's stupid. Thank you, that's amazing. But yeah, this castle project is only going to go up from here. I'm super happy with how it's coming along. I can't wait to keep working on it. Of course, in today's episode, we built this tower. Which I think looks great. And we went over to uh, our old base to have a bit of a reminisce and have a look at what Forge has done. But anyway, that is all I've got time for in today's episode. I've been Toby. This has been an author blocks. We built a tower. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe because most of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.